your what did your love for basketball develop? Did you play other sports earlier? But what made you get connected to that round ball? Uh, it's kind of a funny story, actually. So when I was, I started playing when I was five, but those years before that, my dad, he had always, probably almost like when I was born, like when I was like one or two, mm-hmm. he had a team called the KC Magic and I didn't want to play. I wanted to be the mascot. Right. <laughs> so I still had a jersey. I mean, I he gave me a jersey, double zero scoop on the back. Uh-huh. I was either on the bench next to him or in the uh, bleachers with all the moms cheering my brother on. <laughs> right. my friends so but it was like it, it was bound to like happen to where I would start playing and I my dad like he told me that like when I started like I, I'd be leaving something out like the exact moment like mm-hmm. he remembers but I I gotta ask him again so I can like say right. that whenever somebody asks me but I mean it was just like I was around it so much so I eventually just yeah. fell in love with it I, I started playing with him with, with uh with his team mm-hmm. My first number was seven because, like, I, I I watched Lamar Odom, like, when they nice. was in the finals. So I, I I was like, and I was, I'm left handed too. So I wore number seven. Right. I mean, I kind of just, I mean, I was really just like a natural born leader on the floor. I mean, mm-hmm. when we, we, asked, I first started playing, I'm, I'm playing all five positions. We in a two three zone. I'm in the middle telling everybody where to go. Right. I mean, it was kind of just like it, it kind of just fit like immediately. Yeah. But I mm-hmm. mean, I started to take it more serious and realized I could do something like 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 special per se like probably mid- middle school like seventh eighth grade mm-hmm. like my that summer going in the eighth grade we was playing in some really good tournaments and I was I mean I was playing well getting mm-hmm. better you know continue to work and then I mean and then that was around the time when my nana passed away and that, that's yeah. why I'm wearing number 53 and honor okay. of her so Mm-hmm. Just just having that why, you know, that reason for why I'm waking up every day, you know, yeah. going so hard, you know, that, you know, her passing, that definitely made me take it a lot more serious than I was. Like, cause I, I definitely, I definitely was like locked in on it. And like, I, I wanted to, I knew this was my thing, but, you know, I definitely took it up another notch. Oh, okay. You know, just having a reason, you yeah, know, definitely. just for going out there and competing. Absolutely. That's, that's a great point, man. And you mentioned your father earlier. Is that Tyrone? Tyrone. Dr. Dr. Tyrone Bates, man, shout out to your father, man. So he was ended up being your coach, man. And what was it like uh, playing for your father at that time period as you're trying I mean, to develop a, the game? Yeah, I mean, it's mm-hmm. always interesting, you know, yeah. being the coach's son. You know, me and my brother, we, we would make sure we ain't call him dad when we was right. uh, in practice <laughs> and all that was strictly coach. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, we just tried to keep it as professional as possible. Obviously, there's some extra emotions. Like, mm-hmm. he can talk to his sons differently than he can, you know, uh, to the other players. And we we were de- we were younger, so we took it personal sometimes. Like, we felt like he was talking mm-hmm. enough maybe. But, I mean, you know, it it, uh, it, it turned out, you know, well. You know, mm-hmm. and, like, we, we understand now, you know, everything that he was trying to teach us, those little lessons he was trying to, you know, implement in us, you know. You're yeah, not really tripping off it now, but you know, mm-hmm. playing for him was it was an interesting experience. Right. So yeah, you, you and your brother. You have any other siblings? Anybody else? Uh, just you and your brother. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm the I'm the middle child. I have an older sister, and my older brother he's 20. Okay. And two younger sisters, uh, Trinity and Tamia. Okay. They're 11 and 12. And then my brother, his name is he he's Tyrone Bates the third, but we call him mm-hmm. Trey. Okay. And then my oldest sister, her name's Lashane. So. Oh, that's what's up. Who Who's the best athlete out of you all? I gotta say me. You gotta say. But you. I mean, we, <laughs> we, we, we are. It's a competitive household. Absolutely. Whatever we do, <laughs> and whatever, like whatever we doing, we all could. We always compete. So it's definitely a good environment to be in. Absolutely. I mean, you gotta say you, but now you can be truthful. Which one? Who the best athlete? <laughs> me. Okay. <laughs> hey, I get you know they're gonna listen to this and they're gonna you yeah. know, get an ear for uh-huh. so. that, That's why I said it. I, I, I want to spark a little fire. Absolutely. I like that. I like that. 